The Idaho prison inmate and his accomplice who led police on a 36-hour manhunt are back behind bars this morning. The white supremacist gang members Skylar Mead and Nicholas Umfenauer are now suspected of killing two other men while on the run. Police also arrested a third suspect, Tanya Huber, who they say was driving one of the cars the men were traveling in when they were recaptured. Carter Evans has the latest developments from Idaho. The warrant's been served on you out of Ada County. Now that's on the charge of felony escape. Back in a prison jumpsuit, recaptured inmate Skylar Mead showed no emotion in court. Neither did his alleged accomplice, Nicholas Umfenauer. Both remain in custody with stepped up security. Also appearing from jail, 52 year old Tanya Huber. You're charged here with harboring a fugitive. Prosecutors say she drove more than 100 miles per hour to help the suspects elude police. Investigators say on Wednesday, Meade deliberately injured himself in prison to get taken to the hospital. And when he was about to be transported back, Umfenauer opened fire on corrections officers. We're channeling every resource we have into trying to understand exactly how they went about planning it. Police say the two fugitives fled in a Honda Civic North where they encountered 83-year-old James Monty walking his dogs near Julieta and stole his minivan. Monty's body was found near the abandoned Honda. Later that same day, deputies found prison leg shackles at another homicide scene and James Monty's dogs. On Thursday, police spotted the stolen minivan at a home near Twin Falls and say Meade and Umfenauer both took off in separate vehicles with police in pursuit. Tow truck driver Dan Killinger says it was a wild scene. The escapee jumped the canal. just like Dukes of Hazard. How far do you think they went in the air? Probably 25, 30 feet on the other side before they landed. It's a good day in Idaho when they catch people like that, you know. What investigators still want to know is exactly how Meade was able to orchestrate this escape when he spent most of his time in solitary confinement. Both suspects will now face a series of charges in the other Idaho counties where they allegedly committed crimes. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Carter Evans in Twin Falls, Idaho.